What's going on YouTube? I don't have long tonight, so I'm gonna hop on here real quick and give y'all an update on what's going on. So recently, I've lost 60 pounds on the carnivore diet. Do I seem overexcited? Absolutely not. I am thrilled, guys. 60 pounds, and it hasn't even been three months yet on the carnivore diet. In one of my previous videos, I talked about how my dog's, my dog's sacks of food is 30 pounds each. Guys, if I was picking them up and toting them right now, that's how much weight I've lost this year. Not last year. This year, I've lost two sacks of dog food. One thing that's really, really amazing about the carnivore diet is this is the first diet I've ever been on where I'm not afraid of the bumps that's in the road. Like any other diet, I'm always worried, oh, like the next time I go somewhere, am I going to give in? Am I going to cave? Like, oh, like tonight I had the opportunity to eat some food, like the, some pasta and I love noodles and I just looked at it and I was just like, meh, this is the first diet that I'm just like, everything else is just, it's like I have blinders on and I'm so thankful for that. I'm not constantly in fear. Like, am I going to cheat on the next meal? Am I going to cheat on the next meal? Like, it's like the, I'm becoming a new me. I'm finding a kip that I never knew. I'm going to let y'all know there might be another interview coming up real soon. Like, real soon. Fellow carnivores, when my daughter was born, that was the best day of my life. And, like, the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I felt so much joy from that. And,. I'm feeling so much joy right now from the new lifestyle that I'm living. I feel so much better. I know I don't look like Bruce Lee, but trust me, I feel like Bruce Lee. I feel like I feel like I could just run over a mountain right now. Although if I did at my weight, I'm sure my back would still be hurting. But that's just how much better I feel eating nothing but meat. I do have some butter and I cook in beef tallow a lot, but I feel incredible, incredible. My old shoulder pain hadn't came back yet, and I don't think it's planning on it. I ain't popping Tums anymore. I'm still not taking ibuprofen. I'm running out of notches on my belt, y'all. I'm going to have to start saving up money for uh, new clothes. New clothes is gonna gonna eventually get here because my clothes is getting uh getting looser. I can still make them work for a while. An old country boy can make his clothes last for a while, but eventually they are just gonna start falling off. If this is your first video watching of mine, I was four hundred and eighty six pounds in in January, and I've lost sixty pounds. Sixty pounds. That's like a half of a person. If it's a small person, I'm not a doctor. I'll say that right out the gate. I'm not a doctor at all. But from my personal experience, if you haven't tried the carnivore diet and every other diet that you've tried has been failing you, try it. Try it. If you don't like it, stop doing it. But just try it. If you enjoy eating meat, you will love the carnivore diet. I'm glad everyone's enjoying my barbecue videos. I really enjoy cooking barbecue for all of y'all. I enjoy that so, so much. I've currently been enjoying cooking in my cast iron skillets a lot too. Like if I don't have time to fire up my charcoal grill or my, or my drum smoker or even my stick burner, then I'll, my, my next favorite way to cook is in my cast iron skillets. Tonight I cooked uh, sirloin steaks. It was like a pound and a half. So it was a huge meal. Normally I eat like a pound of steak for supper or some other meat, but I went with a pound and a half today. And that last little bit of it was kind of hard to get down, but I was like, might as well. I'm sitting over here waiting. I'm wondering when y'all are going to like this video. And when y'all are going to subscribe to my channel, I see tons and tons of y'all that are watching my videos and I'm so thankful 
but it would really help me if you would go ahead and like it. I'm also working on more videos on my back porch because everybody seems to really, really love the back porch chilling vibe and, you know, sitting on the back porch and just talking about anything and everything. So those videos are coming. There was a part of me that's worried here recently if I should change the name of my channel from Carnivore Kip Barbecue and Cast Iron to just Carnivore Kip because, I mean, that's what I go by is Carnivore Kip. But part of me just can't seem to let the Barbecue and Cast Iron go from the the channel because that's who I am. Like I love to cook barbecue. I did that for years before I even thought about YouTube. And I absolutely love cooking in my cast iron pans. So y'all let me know what y'all think. And I may eventually create a poll and just ask you all, should I keep it carnivore kip barbecue and cast iron? Or should I just change the name to carnivore kip? Because I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, this is my first channel that I've ever had. So I'm always open for suggestions and guidance because you guys are the ones that are watching my videos all the time. And I'm thankful for that. Some of y'all know that walking has been an issue for me. Uh, I started out walking, but the lower part of my back has still been giving me like issues or whatever. And I've been talking to my wife and I've got recommendations from some of y'all here about maybe getting an exercise bike. And I've been looking at multiple brands and I'm thinking that I might do that, but um, I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's the right route. I'll have, to, if I get one, I'll have to put it in here in my, um, in my spare room in here and work on that because I feel like it would be, you know, less on my joints and less on my muscles uh, in my back. So let me know what y'all think about exercise bikes or if any of y'all have exercise bikes. Uh, what do you think about them? Do you use them? Do you not use them? Uh, are they a waste of money? Let me know. I'm so excited about that cruise that's coming up soon. And I'm looking forward to going on there and uh, multiple people in my comment section after I mentioned the cruise before was reminding me and it's very, very true that I'm actually going to save money on that cruise at, by uh, eating meat all the time because all the other stuff is just like fillers and the, the easy carbs, the cheap stuff. But I'm going to be loading up on bacon and uh, steak and shrimp and burgers and stuff like that. So the cruise line isn't going to make that much money off of me. So I say that to say, like, if you would like to go on a vacation and you're doing the carnivore diet, uh, I think a cruise is probably a really good option because you can go, you can get plenty of sunlight and you get your vitamin D, um, you know, you get your relaxation, but there's still tons of things to do on a cruise ship. Uh, just watch out for the alcohol because, you know, the alcohol will mess you up. Uh, but you can also um, eat meat whenever you want to because everything's pretty much all you can eat. And if you're sitting in the buffet line for breakfast and you're tearing up the bacon, there's nothing they can do about it. And so you're actually spending less money on the cruise than the next person. As always, I have to run, guys. I literally come running in here, turn on a camera, talk for 10 or 15 minutes and go. Half the time, I don't know what I'm going to be talking about or I'll just have a thought in my head and I'll just share what I'm thinking with y'all and I have to run. I, I'm sorry for that, but I'm always very, very busy with that one-year-old little girl who I wouldn't trade for nothing, and my awesome wife who I would never trade for anything. But uh, life's kind of busy, but I'm so glad that I finally had the courage to start this YouTube channel, and I'm amazed at all the support that I've got from all of y'all. And if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, go for it. And if you do start one, comment, comment to me and let me know because I will check out your channel to support you because 
when I first started, I needed the support from, from everyone and I got an overwhelming amount of support very quickly. And it's helping to keep me uh, motivated and helping to keep me accountable to stay on this path. Y'all can rest well knowing that I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying on this carnivore journey. It has been incredible. These past two months have been, or two and a half months has been amazing. Amazing. And I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to get some rest. Take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.